Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to spawn our players into next scene. So, for that purpose, we are on main menu, and here we have the scene loader. We will create a game object here, create empty, and we will rename it to game manager. And then we will definitely write a script for game manager. So we will name this script as game manager script and then we will double click on this script to open it inside visual studio so for this we will again use singleton method so uh, here first of all we will have to include unity engine dot scene management and also uh, we have to create couple of variables so here we will add public static game manager and we will name it instance after that we will create a serialized field and uh, we will add a private game object and we will create characters here okay so after that we will also create a uh, field and we will hide this in inspector we will name it public int selected character and because we are using this uh, in other script as well that's why we make it public and uh, that's why so but we don't want to see this in inspector so we have hide this secret uh, now we will create a awake function and inside awake function uh, we will just uh, make singleton singleton like this singleton singleton and we will create a function which will have name make singleton so make singleton like this and inside this function we will say if instance is uh, not equal to null then we will destroy 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 game object else instance is equal to this and don't destroy on root so we don't want to destroy this game object throughout our game okay so this uh, object will not be destroyed so this is important after that we will create some more functions and uh, here we will add another function and we will say public sorry void on enable so this is also a, a function a default function of unity and here we will say scene manager dot scene loaded sorry scene loaded and we will say plus equal to level finished sorry level finished loading we will create it uh, sorry not like this we will just add it here and wide on disable private wide on disable uh, we will say that scene manager dot scene loaded sorry scene loaded minus equal to level uh, I will just copy and paste this thing over here and then we will make this function so we will copy this and here i will 
just create another function void and that function name will be level finished loading like this so here in the side uh, before initiating this function we will add scene add scene here comma load scene mode and we will say mode okay. so these are some uh, unity default uh, libraries so after that moving further we will say here void uh, uh, in this statement that if scene name scene scene name where it is scene name scene dot name sorry dot name is not equal to is not equal to main menu because we don't want to spawn the player inside the main menu otherwise we want to spawn it in every uh, level okay that's why we are initiating here that we if that scene name is not main menu then what to do then here we will say vector 3 the uh, position is equal to game object dot find sorry dot find game object with tag okay object it's not objects it's object with tag uh, and then we will name a tag here and I am uh, renaming it spawn point like this and here we will say dot transform dot position like this and then we will instantiate instantiate uh, character characters like this and then we will say selected character index so selected character like this and we will say comma position comma quaternion dot identity uh, okay now we will move to our uh, select character uh, script which is create character script this one and uh, right after this line uh, in select character we will add game manager dot instance dot selected character equal to index like this okay so like this so now everything is fine we will go to our unity and then for spawning the player we have to add one position there so uh, now we will move to our scene where we want to initiate our player and inside level select we will go to arena and uh, we want to spawn our player uh, somewhere inside this uh, scene so I will just create a, a cube uh, why I am adding cube because cube is visible you can also add simple game object and then you can position it okay anywhere I will just place it here and definitely we will rotate it because we want to uh, face uh, of player at that side so it should be like this okay z axis should be like this and now we will uh, just uh, delete the mesh render and box collider we don't need at all and then we will uh, name it spawn player spawn position player spawn position so we want to spawn our player here and for this we have to add the tag because we have added that tag inside our game script okay spawn point so we can copy this tag here and we can come to uh, unity we can create a new tag add tag and here we will add another tag spawn point 
and we can save this tag and then we can select this object and then we will select spawn point like this. So now if we move back to our main menu and uh, if we play the game then we will see that what happens. So if we click on play we are on character select we can select the character like this whatever character so yeah actually before adding this uh, uh, playing this we have to add the character so if we select the game manager we didn't have added the script on game manager so we will select game manager and we will add the script to game manager here we have characters we will place three characters and now we will go to prefabs and here are our ready characters so we will select the game manager and in element 0 we will place our first character bodyguard player 1 in second field player 2 and these should be in a sequence first second and third okay first second and third yeah that's fine so now if we play the game hopefully this will work work fine so let's create a character so for example this one first one accept we can click on start and now you can see that our player is here and uh, unfortunately its face is towards the door we want it to be like this so that's fine so now we will select another character to test this functionality so let's play it play create character select uh, shooter 2 select start and yes we have shooter 2 here okay and unfortunately shooter 2 has uh, its aiming switched on so that's why he is aiming like this and we can disable this aiming as well so uh, that's nice we will disable the aiming actually i don't want to see that also we want to for bodyguard one we want to initiate the weapons as well so we will open the prefab like this and inside uh, these weapons section we will just uh, check this auto equip so our first player will be auto equip uh, as well so we want this to be like this and here you must see that if uh, in shooter manager we should not enable the uh, that uh, what is that in basic settings aim it should not be always aiming okay so it should be on check so now this is fine we will save the prefab and we can move further for bodyguard 2 we will open the prefab we will go to shooter where is aiming i will just uh, i just forget in aiming stamina this is third person controller this is shooter melee and uh, uh, here it is uh, here it is Aim. so we will uncheck this one as well we'll just save the prefab move back and the first uh, for third player we will also open prefab and because we was testing uh, with always aiming so that's why it's uh, become uh, enabled okay so now when we will <coughs> uncheck uh, aiming for all then everything will be fine so before that we will go to scene level select scene <coughs> and inside this uh, we have this uh, player spawn position and i will just rotate it uh, to a uh, y axis to zero because uh, that will uh, then our player will be towards that position so it's uh, because our player's z position is uh, towards opposite side okay so that's why so now hopefully everything will work fine so let's uh, select third player and we will see that if it's spawning uh, accurately or not so let's select third player accept select 
and uh, that's it unfortunately <laughs> uh, player was uh, uh, watching that size but everything is fine actually so we are happy with this we will fix this issue later on but you can see that everything is working absolutely fine here so yeah so everything is fine so that's it for this video we have successfully added uh, uh, our functionality uh, character select system and uh, scene loading system and also spawning system for levels in next video we will move further and we will spawn our player in level one as well we will create actually the words here uh, levels here level selection and we will again create a very nice menu in next video which will be very different uh, type of menu uh, that you have created in past so let's meet in next video goodbye